Okay, so stuff I wrote for tonight. Um, uh, I don't know how many people have ever heard the story of how Leonard Cohen learned to play guitar. And uh, oh, so this is a brilliant story. It's a story he told right towards the end of his life while he was an accepting an award in Spain. Uh, my poem, this poem, tells that story. So I won't tell you first and then do the poem. It would give it away, wouldn't it? It's a beautiful story. This is called How Leonard Learned. Leonard walked in Murray Hill Park and heard a young man play circled by listeners and courting them in some mysterious way. With black hair and acoustic guitar, by the tennis court stood he, picking out a lonely sounding Spanish melody. As Leonard listened, Leonard wished, and when he took a bow, and Leonard got his chance, he asked the man to teach him how. But neither sung the other's tongue. So they fixed up teaching sessions with gestures and with broken French, and so began the lessons. The minstrel strolled through Montreal to Belmont Avenue, to Westmount from his boarding house, the Spaniard taught the Jew. First lesson day, he tuned then played, such magic on the strings, so sweet that Leonard, he pretended he didn't know a thing. The young man held the poet's fingers in chord shapes on the frets, and next day moved to lesson two, guitar's flamenco steps. Then on the third day, Leonard learned to play some tremolo, still craving more from lesson four, but his teacher did not show. When Leonard phoned the, boarding, the lodging home, the news came like a knife. Landlady said the man was dead. He'd taken his own life. Fifty years and ten from then, Leonard spoke in Spain, accepting an award, he told, of how he learned his playing. He knew so little of this man, why he came to Montreal, why he played those chords by the tennis courts, why he chose to end it all. But those six chords that he had taught, the patterns to the song, had laid the base of Leonard's work, his life's vocation long. That's a lovely story, that, isn't it?